right now. You wonder what went on, why it happened. This is not something that happens in this community because it happens more in bigger towns. This is a small community. Now at 11, as a community questions why eight people were shot and killed, we're learning who those victims are. Good evening, I'm Jessica Gway. Today we learn the names of the eight people shot and killed execution style in Pike County, Ohio. All of them are members of the Roden family. Hannah Gilly, she was 20. Christopher Roden Sr., who was 40. 16-year-old Christopher Roden Jr. Clarence Frankie Roden, he was 20. Dana Roden, who was 37. Gary Roden, he was 38. Hannah Roden, she turned 19 earlier this month. And Kenneth Roden, who was 44. Eyewitness News reporter Jesse Starkey spent the day in Pike County talking with neighbors and learning more about the family. She joins us live now. Jesse. Jessica, still so many questions as no arrests have been made after those eight brutal murders yesterday. Now, what we do know, the Ohio Attorney General's office is reporting the work at those four crime scenes we've been telling you about has wrapped up. All of the bodies have been carried out of those homes. Now, here's a look at the scene at Union Hill Road just a little bit earlier. That path still blocked off by officials. Neighbors left a memorial wreath at the end of that road. Road saying justice for the rodents. Again, seven adults and one 16 year old boy, all a part of that family, and all shot execution style in the head. Investigators tell us they do not think any of these deaths were suicides. And from the picture Piked and deputies painted for us yesterday, the scene they walked into was nothing they could have ever prepared for. Now we have our hands on those 911 calls made yesterday as family members found their loved ones brutally murdered. We will tell you these calls you're about to hear are difficult to listen to. It looks like they're dead. Do you think they're both dead? I think they're both dead. It looks like someone has beat the out of them. I just found my cousin with a gunshot wound. Okay, so is this still alive? No, no. A heart-wrenching call no one could ever prepare to make, and still no killer has been tracked down. Now, there is a $25,000 reward for anyone who comes forward with information that could lead to an arrest. Still, deputies have no motive and no reason why this family was so carefully targeted. We will stay on top of this investigation and bring you updates as they come to us. Live in Piketon, Jesse Starkey, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jesse, for keeping us updated. You can listen to the full 911 calls on our website, WCHSTV.com, as well as get the latest updates on this.